What is going on everyone? How is everybody doing today? Welcome back here today to another NBA 2K20 rebuild. I haven't done a realistic rebuild in a minute, so I was like, why don't we do one, but let's do an expansion rebuild at it. So we are here, we are gonna be using the Cincinnati Lions. It's a pre-built team by 2K. I haven't used this team, I think, ever in an expansion rebuild, so this will be new. And also, my 2K has been really weird. If anybody knows uh, maybe how to fix this, let me know. I do play on PC, and whenever I start up a franchise, anytime I back out, series gets deleted or save gets deleted and i can't download like community created teams like the vancouver grizzlies that's the team i wanted to do today but i couldn't download it because it says like error every time i do it let me know if you guys kind of know what's up with that but yeah we are going to choose the cincinnati lions i believe i did choose the vancouver pre-built team as the other expansion team in this yeah so they are the vancouver ravens and honestly i thought about like letting the cpu draft my team i think that'd be pretty interesting so i think i'm gonna do that um that'll be kind of new so we are gonna let the cpu draft my team i think dwight howard might have been the first pick we'll see what we have and what we're working with so uh we have dwight howard which i don't mind because he's making uh 1.6 mo for one year and then he'll be a free agent tristan thompson another one-year contract don't mind that marcus morris another one-year contract i will definitely take that george hill does have two years i believe he doesn't have another option at the okay a team option but we can always decline that so that's not bad either uh bo bogey okay I wouldn't mind Bogdan kind of being the main staple of this team. Malik Beasley, another one-year contract like Bogdanovich. Um, Otto Porter, he'll opt in, so he'll be a free agent in 2021. Bobby Portis can decline his team option. Ish Smith for Con Korkmaz. All right. So in Youngtown, we have Danthony Melton. And that's really it that I think could really be something on this team. So I think maybe by the deadline, I might look to move Marcus Morris to a contender or Tristan Thompson or Dwight Howard or George Hill or somebody like that. So that can definitely be something because I feel like with this roster, we could actually be pretty solid. I'll let the CPU pick the starting five. All right, so we can rock that. I kind of actually want like D'Anthony Melton to play a decent amount because he is kind of like our top young guy, like Bobby Portis can get like 17 minutes and we'll honestly play Melton like 29, okay? And then do I want to send anyone to the G League? I'll send KZ Opala to the G League as well. Our coach is Gene Mackey, or Macy, I guess you could say. Uh, he's two and a half star balance. We'll see how he does as a head coach. I hope we're not too good because yeah, like I said, sometimes in expansion rebuilds right away, your team's not bad. So we're 22, the Vancouver Ravens are 24. So I'm going to simulate to the trade deadline. I might make a trade. I might not. So I'll either see you guys then or at the end of the regular season. You see what I mean? At the trade deadline, we are 31 and 19 because of course we are. Oh, I did not want to be this good because I wanted a good draft pick, but I'm definitely willing to be a seller here at the deadline. Um, any of our top wings like Marcus Morris, anybody want him? He's not too bad. I wouldn't mind like a late, like a super late first round pick. Obviously, we have to take on a big contract in return. Clippers, you didn't want to keep him, but would you... Actually, no, because mm, Reggie Jackson, that could match the salary, but that really wouldn't get it done. Like, I'm willing to throw in Marcus Morris and Dwight Howard if that means I can get an extra first-round pick in the draft. So, would Miami be willing to give me their 2020 first-round pick, Kelly Olenek, to make the contracts work out? For Marcus Morris, we'll try out, but maybe I would throw in Dwight Howard. We'll see if they accept this. Uh, they don't want to take on an extra salary, but he's only on a one-year deal. Okay. Uh, I will also give you Furkan Korkmaz. Yeah, I think they'll definitely do this. So we end up getting a first round pick. So we have two first round picks, but I'm not done there. Dwight Howard though, he looks very valuable. He definitely does. So I think a team would maybe willing to give me a first Lakers. Do you want it back? I think we could maybe work something out. So yeah, I'll take Quinn Cook off their hands and their 2020 first round pick for Dwight Howard in return. And they agree to that. So now we have three first round picks in this upcoming draft. I hope this made us technically worse as a team. I don't know if somebody would want George Hill. I'm sure they would love ex his experience and his efficient shooting. I don't know. Maybe could the Bucks? <laughs> you, do you want it back? I, I'd be willing to give you the Pacers pick. Or if you want to give me the Pacers or your 2021 first for him. Uh, see, I would also give you Dwight. Oh, you have Cristiano Felicio. What trade did you make? But I would want to take on that salary. I mean, do I really have anybody else to give you? Because I don't mind giving you another player. You might. You know what? Malik Beasley and George Hill for Cristiano Felicio and the Pacers pick here. Who might be might be a good pick here. So, will they accept this? They get a good point guard that I don't know why they didn't just keep to begin with. And they get Malik Beasley. Uh, so, they would want that Miami pick. So, that pick is very valuable. So, I would just take your 2021 first. We are kind of clearing house we could bring back Malik Beasley definitely free agency but we are gonna have two first or three first round picks in this draft and making another trade I don't care if we don't make the playoffs and we still might so would they accept this I don't want to give up the second round pick and they do so yeah we're definitely worse 
and people might be like oh that's not very realistic but we're an expansion team and we're just trying to look for the long term and obviously we're 31 and 19 we'll still maybe make the playoffs in the eastern conference so i'll see you guys at the end of the season and we'll see if we still make the playoffs and we have three first round picks in this draft and two in the 2021 draft all right so we still ended the season with a positive record as we go 42 and 40. d'anthony melton wins most improved uh player he averaged about 11 points five rebounds five and a half assists all right 92 from the line he could definitely be a starter for us next year and we still made the playoffs so i'm really glad we ended up making those trades because now we have three first round picks including ours and we still made the playoffs uh so i'm yeah definitely glad we did that so we already taken on the celtics in round one i don't think we'll get past them i really wanted to just have a top five pick in the draft but it is what it is uh we made a trade yeah, so the Heat and the Bucks made the playoffs. Or no, the Heat and the Lakers made the playoffs. Those were the other teams we got the picks from. So Otto Porter was our leading scorer. He'll be back next year. I don't know if we'll be able to find a trade partner for him just because he's making so much money. He'll opt in, but he'll be a free agent in 2021. Bogey is definitely somebody we could look to bring back. He averaged 13 and a half points, three rebounds, 3.3 assists, 48 from the field, 41 from three, 77 from the line. Bobby Porter is probably going to decline his team option. Olenek does he have a player option or is he unrestricted he does have a player option he'll probably opt into definitely want to bring back anthony melton i'm gonna pay him and then cook smith gortat who i had to sign because we didn't have enough players on roster maybe i'll look to bring back tristan thompson as like a backup center but if he wants more than like eight mil nine mil probably won't so yeah that's kind of where we're going uh forward opala is up to a 75 now all right so can we beat the celtics and pull off a complete upset we actually pushed them to seven games, but we do end up losing. All right. And then the NBA Finals is going to be Maverick Sixers. And the Sixers win in five. Joel Embiid is your Finals MVP. So let's go here to the draft lottery. And the Knicks have the number one odds at the number one pick. Yeah, that Indiana Pacers pick ended up being three. So you can see why they didn't want to give it up. Uh, the Ravens are there at 15. So we are going to end up with picks. Let's see. 28 via the Lakers. 23 via the heat and 19 so we have three first round picks there we could look to make another trade moving up i will actually keep uh steve mace or g macy around and ronald grady for now because they were pretty good but i'm gonna fire harvey lane just so we can pick up randy martin and sean tate and devin bell i think will fire can we pick up owen masters and kevin nicholson and we can sign all four of those dudes so let's go here to the nba draft where i mean ish smith could, I could probably get a second for Ish Smith, I think. Uh, so, like, a, like, I'm not going to take Rubio for him. Uh, but the Rockets, would you be interested in some Ish Smith? I think they would. Would you give me... Um, you don't have a second round pick in this draft. Never mind. All right. I'm going to trade Ish Smith to the Blazers for pick 47. Uh, and they should accept that. And they do. So, now we have two second round picks and three first round picks. So, now we have five new additions to this team. Let's hope somebody falls at 19. Uh, and yeah, I'll, I, I know I have to find a new draft class as well. Somebody knows a really good one on PT. The only reason why I don't like this one is because I'm pretty sure Killian Hayes is, uh, is rated incredibly low. Yeah, 44th. He's probably going to go top 10 in real life, which is pretty annoying. So I got to find a better draft class. All right, guys. So our five picks are Devin Vassell, who we took at 19. Killian Hayes at 22. Aaron Nesmith at 28. Uh, Kyra Lewis here at, uh, 30 or 47. He's probably going to go in the top 20 in real life. So like I said, need to find a better draft class and Charles Bassey there, um, at 48. So, uh, we're able to sign all of them Otto Porter and Olenek opt in as expected. I'm not going to bring back Bobby Portis and check Diallo. Eh, I'm not going to bring back. We really don't need him at this moment. So free agency. I definitely want to extend the qualifying offers to Bogey and Melton. I'll match whatever they get most likely. So looking at our team, we definitely need help um, in our front court <laughs> pretty badly. Uh, we might be pretty bad next year. Um, we kind of want to develop our young guys uh, most likely. So we could go after maybe a power forward that could just play. Maybe Jabari Parker, Christian Wood, Jeremy Grant, maybe. Maybe Jay Crowder. Uh, Dario Saric is only 26, so I'm actually going to give him a three-year deal worth about, like, six and a half mil, and we'll even throw a team option on the end of it, and if we can get at him on that, I would definitely take that, so Bogdanovich gets a deal from the Grizzlies, uh, we're going to match that, and we'll see if we can get Saric. I'm not going to bring back Thompson, uh, I think, uh, Portis, no, Diallo, no, Gortat, no, and Yurko, no, okay, so, damn, the Suns match it on Saric, which is kind of upsetting, uh, we could go after, I mean, Portis is only 25, but he wants 9 mil years. So, you know what? I'm going to go after Grant and see if I can kind of lowball him just a tad. Maybe do that. Mm, okay. He didn't want that contract. So, we'll just give him like this. Would he accept that? Okay. I think he might. So, we do get Grant 
and then I'm going to uh, match the steel Melton gets from the king. So, uh, wow, the Bogdanovich match was just the one year. That's kind of annoying. But yeah, Melton for two years, and we get Grant for three years. So, uh, that was a big free agency splash, getting Jeremy Grant. But yeah, this is going to be the team. Honestly, I'm just going to want to develop at least Kyra Lewis, or he could be in the G League. Uh, but definitely Melton, Hayes, uh, Vassal, and K Casey Okpala, Aaron Nesmith, maybe Charles Bassey. We do have three untapped potentials to use, so I'm going to use that on... Honestly, I might use it on DeAnthony Melton. We'll use it on our top two picks here with Killian Hayes, and then we'll use it on... What's his name? Uh, Devin Vassal, so we'll do that. All right, so we are going to send Charles Bassey and Kyra Lewis to the G League. Our rotation is going to be Melton at the one, Bogdanovich at the two, Porter at the three, Grant at the four, I want to get the five, and then Hayes... Uh, Vassal, Nesmith, and Opal are going to be getting a bunch of minutes off the bench, so we're going to be developing them. System proficiency is probably three stars, I would guess. Oh, wow, and that's actually dropped to two. And with a lot better of a draft class coming up, I don't mind if we're bad. Uh, we also have the Bucks first round pick this year, um, but I don't think I'm going to make any trades near the deadline. So I'll see you guys at the end of the 2021 season, and we'll see if we make the playoffs again, or if we're going to be one of the worst teams in the NBA. Yeah, so we were horrible at the end of the 2021 season. We go 29 and 53. That was kind of my intentions at the end of season number one, but we were pretty solid given that, I don't know, I tried to raise the protection player limit, but I just, I guess couldn't find that setting because maybe it was too low at nine but uh Giannis wins MVP Lamelo rookie of the year for the Pacers all right uh, I don't know if he's coming off the bench behind Brogdon uh Schroeder six man of the year Kawhi defensive player of the year Nasir Little most improved all right and then Kenny Atkinson coach of the year but we were really bad the Bucks pick will probably be in the high 20s uh we can check out kind of the stats though Otto Porter was our leading scorer which is not anything to be proud of uh usually but he was Solid, like, efficiency-wise, he shot 38 from 3. Bogey, 14 points, 2 and a half rebounds, 3 assists. I wish he could, like, really break out in 2K. Maybe I should have made him the number one scoring option, but uh, it is what it is. Kelly Olenek wasn't bad. Maybe we'll look to bring him back as a backup big. Uh, Aaron Nesmith, though, mm, was not very efficient. Uh, Killing A's, 11 points, almost 4 rebounds. Wasn't very efficient either. Devin Vassell was not very efficient either. Uh, Jeremy Grant was pretty solid though, 10 points, 4 rebounds, 37 from 3, and then DeAnthony Melton about 9 points, 6 rebounds, 6 and a half assists, but oh man, his efficiency dropped off. That hurts. So the Mavericks beat the Bucks in the NBA Finals in 7 games. Luka is your Finals MVP, so that Bucks pick will probably end up being pick 29. But let's see, can we end up with the number 1 pick in the draft? We have the 4th lowest record in in the nba so we'll see what happens there the bucks also have the pacers pick here oh no because it was what lottery protected yeah that's why the pacers got to keep it ah oh, makes sense all right so uh maybe we can go to one don't drop me to like seven or eight please and we stay at four all right uh i'm cool with that so we have the fourth pick here um let's hope that cunningham green or mobley all fall i'd really like evan mobley actually so Maybe I'm willing to trade up to like pick two if he's still on the board. Uh, maybe swap them the Bucks pick. I wouldn't mind throwing in maybe Devin uh, Vassal if we're going to get Evan Mobley. So are the mock drafts, do they have him going one? Okay, Pistons, no. None of the mock drafts have him going one. So the Knicks, do you also have Mitchell Robinson still? Or did you trade him like you always do? Yep, of course they don't have Mitchell Robinson. So maybe they would take Evan Mobley. So maybe we'll make a trade with the Knicks at two. We definitely have plenty of young assets that they could definitely want. And I would be willing to throw in pick 30 as well. So let's hope Evan Mobley makes it to two and we'll make a trade with the New York Knicks. And the Pistons take Kate Cunningham. So we are going to call up uh, Scott Perry, Leon Rose of the New York Knicks here. We're going to offer them 30. Uh, actually, maybe we could offer them 34. Uh, we can also offer them a... Oh, and then obviously we're going to offer them four. And then we're going to offer them... I'd like to keep Nesmith. Maybe I'm thinking Devin um, Vassal here, who was our highest draft pick last year. So maybe they'd be interested in him. And would the Knicks do that for two? Maybe we will have to throw in 30 in this. Uh, would they accept this? And they do. Okay, so we're on the clock. We make a pretty big trade, the biggest trade of the video, because we are going to take our franchise center, Evan Mobile here, with the second overall pick in the draft. And then with pick 30, I took Kareem Maine out of Marquette. He's a 72 overall, 21-year-old uh, wing player who could be pretty solid for us. And he's uh, the 30th pick, so we have him on a four-year deal. That's kind of why I wanted to keep 30 and trade 34. Uh, we are not going to pick up the options on Chris Clemens, but Kyra Lewis and Charles Bassey, we definitely could. 
Uh, we're probably not going to be able to sign anyone, but uh, Bogdan, we're going to want to give the qualifying offer to, as it was just a one-year deal last year. So looking at our team, uh, we do have Lewis, and maybe, where's Melton? Oh, Melton's a shooting guard. So, all right, um, small forward, yeah, we could sign someone. I mean, do we go out and offer Dinwiddie a deal? Dinwiddie would be interesting. I would not mind Lonzo either, but he wants a lot of money. Dennis Schroeder is very good in 2K. Devontae Graham, Fultz. Hmm. I don't know if Orlando, because, like, we definitely need, like, a power forward or small forward. But I wouldn't mind, like, that franchise point guard, you know. Uh, so, I mean, there is some very good point guards here. And I think I'm going to offer Dinwiddie. We're going to make a kind of a splash here. We're going to give him a three-year deal. Worth about 60 mil. So we're going to pay him 20 mil a year. We're going to kind of have to overpay for these mid-tier free agents. Even though Spencer Dinwiddie is a very good point guard. And we'll actually give him a four-year deal. So we're going to lock him up till he's 32. He's going to be like, oh, wow, $82 million guaranteed money. I don't think the Nets are going to give me that. We're going to offer him that. So we'll hope he accepts that. Uh, honestly, Porter not going to bring back Bogdan. Maybe I'm not going to match a deal. Because we do have Hayes, Melton, and uh, who's the other shooting guard we have? Kareem Maine. So maybe one of those guys could end up being better than Bogdanovich. So maybe I'm not going to match a deal he gets. So we do get Dimwitty. We are going to renounce the rights on Porter, Olenek, Felicio, and we'll do Quinn Cook as well. So Kawhi actually goes to the Vancouver Ravens. All right. Paul George to the Knicks. Uh, and then everybody else kind of stayed with their team. Steven Adams to the Lakers. Michael Porter Jr. to the Magic. Oh, that means probably Fultz. Is he an unrestricted guy? Man, I probably would have gone after him over Dennis Schroeder, uh, not Dennis Schroeder, excuse me, Spencer Dinwiddie, but it is what it is. So honestly, nobody has offered Bogdanovich a deal yet. Yeah, nobody has offered him a deal. Interesting. Um, I mean, I guess he could be a small forward for us. So we'll see, does he get picked up or are we gonna get him back on the qualifying offer? Maybe we're just gonna get him back on the qualifying offer and we do. So we do have three training camps here. I do wanna send Evan Mobley to onto potential. I also wanna do the same with Killian Hayes and I will probably do the same, hmm. Not with Melton, but I'll, honestly, we'll see how Aaron Nesmith, yeah, we'll get, we'll give it to him just because we have him locked up on a two-year deal or two more years on his rookie contract left. We are going to send Kareem Maine to the G League just because we have a bunch of wings that I, I'd rather give him playing time down there. All right, guys, so here's going to be the rotation for season number three now. So it's going to be Dinwiddie at the one, Hayes at the two, Bogdanovich at the three, Grant at the four, Mobley at the five with Melton, Nesmith, Opala, Lewis, and Bass, uh, Bassey coming off the bench. System proficiency is going to be two and a half start balance. Not great, but we'll see how we do this year. Our preseason power ranking is going to put us at, let's see, ooh, 32. <laughs> Guess we'll see how we do. So, yeah, we were a little bit better this year. We ended up winning 11 more games as we go 34 and 48. Evan Mobley, though, is your rookie of the year. He averaged about 17 and 10 with five assists and shot 33 from three. Yeah, that's amazing. Bull Bull was your sixth man of the year. I would have liked to draft him. Aneka Kongwu, most improved, and Budenholzer is your coach of the year. Giannis won MVP in state, obviously, in Milwaukee. So we didn't make the playoffs. The Vancouver Grizzlies with, or the Vancouver uh, Ravens with Kawhi Leonard. Wow, that team's actually pretty freaking good. Um, is your five seed in the Western Conference. Here are the player stats. Dinwiddie, 19 points and seven assists. Also three rebounds, 42 from the field, 33 from three and 80 from the line. Evan Mobley, we kind of already went over him. Killing Hayes, about 14 points, five rebounds. Not big in the assist category. His efficiency was better. It's still not great. Uh, Bogdanovich, I think, after two years of taking a qualifying offer, he will be a restricted free agent. Or, I mean, an unrestricted free agent. I believe so. Apollo wasn't bad. He shot 37 from three. I might want to keep him around. Nesmith was okay from three. Pretty solid, but not great from the field. Uh, there's the Anthony Melton. It was better this year than he was last year. Uh, and then there's Jeremy Grant, uh, Kyra Lewis, who was pretty solid, actually. Yeah, definitely. And then there's Charles Bassey. So the 2022 NBA Finals is going to be the Bucks versus the Mavericks again. And once again, the Mavericks are going to win in seven for their second straight year. Luka is your Finals MVP once again. All right, so could we get lucky here in the draft lottery? I wouldn't be opposed to maybe trading our pick wherever we end up. But let's see what happens. So we go from eight to nine. So we actually dropped a pick. We don't have any other first round picks in this draft. I'm definitely open to trading the ninth pick. I think we are also going to fire Gene Macy and we're going to fire Ronald uh, Grady. So Doc Rivers, would he want that challenge? I think Nick Nurse would maybe want that challenge. So we are going to, mm, we can't offer him that much money and he's got eight contracts. So yeah, we probably want to get like a rookie head coach. That would make more sense. Uh, Benjamin Walker, we will offer. And then for assistant coach, 
Uh, Otis Newman would it be maybe a bad option. And we get both of them. Mm, okay, I'm going to choose Walker over Newman. And then it'll probably just let me still sign Newman. So I don't know why it does that. Yeah, we get them both. So Kareem Main maybe could be a solid bench card for us. I wish I could still see his G League stats, but unfortunately I cannot. So, I mean, if we were looking to maybe upgrade power forward, Jeremy Grant in nine, like Derek Rose. Oh, okay. Uh, Kevin Love. That is the veteran that maybe... I wish his value, like, wasn't three stars because that's what he wouldn't be on the open market. But I would be so... See, Aaron Fox and Buddy Heald. I'm not going to do this, but what is this offer? John Wall, that is a guy I should have traded for. Yeah, because how bad his contract is, maybe that would have been a realistic option. Clay Thompson, Bobby Market, and what are these offers? Is Jeremy Graham like a cheat code? Like, I was thinking maybe get Blake Griffin, but eh. I would... Mm, Demonte Sabonis. I think I'm going to try to bring in Kevin Love. Could we do Jeremy Grant and hmm, a lottery protected first round pick next year for Kevin Love? Like, would they accept this? And they do. All right. So we make a trade for a veteran because we're not going to be a big free agency suitor. Let's hope Kevin Love doesn't regress a lot. He's going to his age 34 season. That might have been a, a very stupid risk, but I still get to keep the seventh pick in the draft. Uh, so we could target like another big to maybe come off the bench. So we'll see who's there at seven or nine, excuse me, where I pick nine. So with the ninth pick, I took Chet Holmgren or yeah, Holmgren from Minnesota. He's a seven foot two, seven, nine overall center. I think he will be Evan Moby's backup. He definitely will be. Um, and then Ter Terrell Cameron, who's a 59 overall seven foot 24 year old who we ended up getting with the 38th pick in the draft. Uh, team player options. We are going to pick up Killian Hayes option, obviously, and Aaron Nesmith. Uh, we can go here to qualifying offers. Melton, okay, yeah, all these guys can get it here. Yeah, it's looking like Bodanovich is an unrestricted free agent. Don't think I'm going to bring him back because we have one. I would like for Lewis to be our backup point guard, so that would be two. Three, four, five, Okpala, six, Love, seven, eight, nine. I think that could definitely be a thing. Oh, Lucas got everyone's trying to sign Muka. Uh, but Melton, you know what? If he gets 11 mil, I might not bring him back. Uh, Okpala, okay, and then Bodanovich. All right, so... I would like to bring back also uh, Kyra Lewis, and he wants 8 mil a year. Uh, bro, I don't know if I want to give you that. All right, so we might wait on him. Uh, so we'll read out the rights on Bassey. Yeah, I'm going to go with Chet Holmgren then. Uh, we won't bring back Bogdanovich. Melton will wait and see, and same with all these guys. So let's go here past Moratorium. Any big changes? Uh, no, doesn't really look like it. Mitchell Robinson stayed in. Sh no, he went from Washington sh to Chicago. Yeah, not a lot of uh, big changes here so far. Uh, so we do have a lot of cap space, though. Like, we could offer Zach Levine a monster deal. But maybe we'll save that money for next year. Uh, so I'm not going to really go after anybody here. We do kind of need that small forward. But really nobody here. So maybe we'll look at next year uh, to see. So I'm going to give Okpala... Hmm? Do I really want to give him 10 mil a year? I don't think I'm going to bring back the Anthony Melton. But Casey... He wasn't bad last year. So, you know, what? I'm going to give him a two-year deal and hopefully he signs that and he does. We are going to read out the rights on Kyra Lewis and DeAnthony Melton. So, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I do want to sign a backup point guard that isn't making too much money like Patrick Beverly and Sato for a one-year deal and we'll see how he does uh, and he does accept that. So we do have three training camps once again. I'm going to send Chet Holmgren to onto potential share. Uh, we will send Killian Hayes to perimeter shooting. And I think I'm also going to send Love to perimeter shooting because that's all I need him to do. He's got 99 mid-range and 89 three-point. All right, so this is going to be the rotation. It's going to be Dinwiddie, Hayes, Apollo, Love, and Mobley. That's the starting five with a bench of Chet Holmgren, Aaron Nesmith, Curry Main, and Thomas Sadoransky. System efficiency is three and a half star balance. And our preseason power ranking at CoreyNBA.com is hmm still pretty well we're 27th i think we can make the playoffs this year but i think we're still another off season away from being a contender so i'll see you guys at the end of the 2023 regular season so at the end of this season we do go 40 and 42 so i don't know if we made the playoffs yeah we didn't all right but we will have two max slots i don't know if we can make a case to get a free agent we'll see uh because we are going to be going to season five kevin love Maybe he wasn't the best fit, just, eh, he was pretty good, though. 18 points, 9.5 rebounds. He wanted to test free agency, and he's going to ask for about 20 mil, so we'll see if we bring him back. He also shot 30 from 3. Didn't win he about 17 points, 8 assists. He was pretty solid for us. There's Mobley, who is a beast. Killian Hayes was actually pretty good. 16 points, 5 rebounds, 38 from 3. He's continuing to improve as a 2-guard for us. Hayes Yoke Paul was actually pretty good for us. Definitely. Might be the 6th man if we could target that good small forward. Chad Holmgren was pretty good as a rookie. Aaron Nesmith, 
was great from three. And then there's Kareem Maine, who was all right. And then there's Sadoransky. But yeah, I think we're kind of fishing and kind of itching to get that max free agent in the 2023 offseason. The Hawks beat the Kings in the finals. Did the Kings? Oh, they still have Fox. Okay, so it was Young versus Fox, which is pretty cool. We do have the 16th pick, so the absolute last lottery pick going into the draft. I might flip it for like a future uh, first round pick just so we could have if we maybe want to make a trade because I don't know if I'm going to keep the pick right now yet. So I think I'm going to move my draft picks here for the Pistons unprotected 2024 first round pick and I will just throw in another second. Three seconds, maybe? That's uh, a lot. Uh, okay, let's just do maybe the Wizards pick next year. Would they do that? No? Okay. Maybe we'll do a team like the Boston Celtics. They should accept that. They do. Okay. So I just want to go straight to team player options. We're going to bring back Mobley, uh, Hayes, Maine, Nesmith. That's good for now. Uh, so Brandon Ingram, 25 years old. Let's see. Let's see what free agency he's looking like. So here in 2023, whoo. There's some very good wings. And Brandon Ingram has zero offers. That might be the splash we make here. Uh, over KD, yeah, he maybe wants to actually go to the Pels. So maybe that's why they're going to let Ingram walk. But yeah, let's give him four years. 151. Uh, Zion is restricted, unfortunately. But we do need a power forward. We might bring back Love. We might, we might do that. Uh, and I think I will, unless there's a center that can move to the four. But no, I don't think so. So we're going to give Love a little bit less than what he wants. And I'm going to give him a two-year deal. Please accept that. Okay, good. And then do we have any other free agents of our own? Uh, no. So do we get Ingram? We do. So we pick up Brandon Ingram and Kevin Love. That's what you'd like to see. And then I think we just need to sign. I don't know if I want Kareem Main. Uh, maybe getting minutes next year. We could go for a backup point guard uh, better than Sadoransky because we have one, two, we'll say two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I can go for a backup point guard over um, Fred Mason. Uh, like, then Kareem Maine. I don't know. Maybe Kareem Maine is the best option here. Uh, yeah, you know what? He might be. So, I think this is going to be the final team. We make a splash getting Brandon Ingram. Uh, and let's hope that this team can maybe compete for a championship in the fifth and final season next year. All right, guys. So, here's going to be the rotation. It's going to be Dimwitty, Hayes, Ingram, Love, Mobley with Opala, Holmgren, Nesmith, and Maine off the bench. System proficiencies, three and a half stars. Our preseason power ranking is going to be... 17th this will be the final season so i'll see you guys at the end of the 2024 regular season all right there we go at the end of the fifth and final season we go 52 and 30 so i'm pretty sure we made the playoffs here in 2024 kobe white is a baller now for the lakers that's really cool to see and we are the three seed in the eastern conference oh great <laughs> taking on the heat in round one who have wade baldwin okay he's kind of uh, um, revived his career. Uh, Colin Sexton, who's amazing, kind of, scoring-wise. Jimmy Butler, who's 34. Derek Favors, and they still have Bam, who's a stud. Oh, boy. I feel like this might be a first-round exit. I really hope not. Brandon Ingram was solid. 21 points, 6 rebounds, 3.7 assists. He was very efficient. Dinwiddie, 17 points, 9 assists, 30, about 6% from 3. Hayes, 16 points, 4.5 rebounds, 38 from 3. Uh, Mobley, 16, eight and a half, five and a half assists, two blocks, 1.2 steals. And then there's Kevin Love, 14 and nine, 38 from three. KZ, Holmgren, Nesmith, and uh, Kareem Mann. Close my eyes. Please tell me we beat the Miami Heat. Please tell me we beat the Heat. Yes. Yes, we win at seven. Okay. All right. That might be the way to go. I might just close my eyes and let it sim. Now, they got BJ Boston in Milwaukee. Damn. Uh, Middleton, Giannis, Harry Giles. Faults. They have the cap space for that. Dash and Knicks, all right. I'm closing my eyes. Please tell me we beat them and pulled off the upset. Let's go! We beat them in five. All right, this might be the good luck charm. We might just have to keep closing our eyes and letting it sit. They don't have Embiid? Oh, no, they do have Embiid. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? All right, please. Uh, who's their 87 overall point guard? Trayvon Duval. Oh, my God, and he's been playing good for them. All right, closing my eyes. Please tell me we're in the finals. Please tell me we're in the finals. Yes! Yes! All right, it's good luck. Take it on Kobe White, Dante DiVincenzo, Terrence Mann, AD, Daniel Tice. Oh my god. I feel like these Sixers and Bucks teams could have been better. Or that Heat team. I'm closing my eyes. Please tell me we, we win the championship. I can't even speak. Please. No! No, it couldn't get me all the way. We ended up losing in five and AD is your finals MVP. Damn it. All right, though, that is going to be it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed. This was a pretty long rebuild. This is probably the first five season, like, 
normal rebuild, not like a challenge, like a LeBron challenge I've done in a minute. But if you watched this video all this way, thank you all for watching. Drop a like if you guys did enjoy. Let me know in the comments if you can fix kind of like what my 2K problem is. Because like, I'll even show you. Like, I'm done with this. The rebuild's over. When I back out, ready, into my 2K here, I go to my league. It's gone. It's gone. I don't know what's going on. Autosave is on. Uh, even like the starting file, even if autosave was off, should be there, but it's not. So yeah, please let me know in the comments if you know how to fix that. But yeah, like always, thank you all for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. I love you all, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.